how to experience it. We don't just want to uh, enjoy the scenery or relax on the beach. Uh, we want to think differently, put ourselves in the environment and fully integrate into it. Be more specific. Uh, all right then, I'll give you an example. Uh, for example, my graduation trip. I went to Beijing with a few of my classmates to climb the Great Wall. Um, we didn't just take photos there, but also took a huge garbage bag. Uh, we picked up trash while having fun, and ended up collecting a huge bag of trash. <laughs> I felt so relaxed on that trip and thought it was meaningful. You have a sense of social responsibility. Um, I just think it's a practical way to prove your self-worth. Tenya, do me a favor, will you? Of course. Name it. Give me a list of cities where I'd be able to have in-depth experiences, preferably in Europe. I'd like to spend some time there. No problem. I'll write you a list right away. Okay, Tenya. I'm very pleased that you can join our team. Hope in the upcoming days, we'll face new challenges together. I'll do my best. Good luck. Go ahead. Where is he? I need here. Get up. Let's go. Come on. Come on. How did he get this drunk? Get up. Get up first. Hey, stand up. Here, have some water. <coughs> Sober now? If you are, get up, take a shower, and get some sleep. You have a job interview tomorrow. Wang Ziyang asked his friend to find you a job as a lecturer at the Maritime University. Don't blame me for not telling you. I'm just trying to help. I won't go. You have to go one way or another. Otherwise, what's your plan? <sighs> you want to get drunk like this every day? It's pointless. You're still alive, so solve your problems. I can't. Nothing makes sense to me now. If you go on like this, you will completely ruin your future, you know that? Like I have any future now at all. I have no future, I have nothing now!
应该，你 need to find a new path. In life, there is always hope, unless you lose hope in yourself. I've lost hope. So what? You want me to teach at a university? But who am I to do that, huh? Let me make something clear to you today. Don't think that you can do whatever you want and that no one else will be affected. You almost died once before. Just think about it. Maybe God will regret saving your life and think about your father in heaven watching you. It's up to you whether your problems will be solved. All right, I'll be straightforward here. Normally, if you were fired from your last company, we wouldn't hire you. But it was my friend Wang Ziyang who highly recommended you. He spoke well of you, and said you were experienced. So I'll give you a chance, on his account. Thank you. Before you thank me, you need to know that it's not up to me whether we hire you. The rules state. You need to do a trial lecture. Listen, if you fail this, I won't hire you no matter what Wang Ziyang says about you. I understand. Go ahead. Whether we hire you or not depends on the next fifty minutes. Hey, hey, hey stop running around! They're attacking. You're attacking! Get back here! Oh, we lost again. Do you know how to play? This red one is yours. Oh my God! The teacher is dead. The teacher is dead. Okay. Hey. Hey. Hello, everyone. I'm going to be your new teacher. This is my name. Let's begin our class. Remember this word: control. Our first officer Wang has always been so strategic, and it's now reaping the benefits and moving on up. His career looks so promising now. It's not just promising; he's literally on fire right now. Just think, of the three most competitive young first officers, Ding Kai is now gone. Before there were three, and now there are two. And Wang Ziyang, on top of his great achievement, is dating Annie Chen, Miss Chen's adopted daughter. Who else will be the new staff captain if not him? Kenya, I've been thinking about everything you said to me last time. 
You were talking about self-fulfillment and social responsibility. Really? Did you come to any conclusions? I think that. You're absolutely on to something. But your sense of social responsibility still seems a little bit narrow. I want to ask you, if you and your classmates picked up trash for the entire day, how much did you get? Hmm. Small good deeds are important. We picked up as much as we could. That being said, it seems you don't have confidence in that statement. Then, Mr. Bai, tell me, how can I be more confident? Turn to page five. Internet, charity, and travel? A much broader approach, right? We can help more people if we get the public involved. Tianyu, from our first voyage together to that unfortunate accident, I've seen your purity and kindness. So, when the company started this project, I thought that if you could be a part of it, it'd be a great fit for you and the company. This report is very detailed, but I still feel something's missing. It's public welfare, so the product design can't be the same as other financial products. Big data, rate of return, that's business, not charity. That's exactly why I invited you to join this project. Obviously, I'm willing to participate, but how exactly do I get started? Just jump right in. You'll be involved in the department and operations. You just need to follow your heart. But I have no project management training. So you were just laying the bait for me to bite, right? <laughs> It's six months in France. Is there a problem, Tianya? Mm, Mr. Bai, can I think about this for a while? You asked me what's wrong. Here's your coffee, sir. Thank you. Nothing. Just thought I'd say congrats. Congrats for what? Congrats on helping the company stop taking on so much water. If they're good, then so are we. Did what I should. But there's something different about what you did. Getting Morgan to talk, and then exposing Bon Weijin's underhanded methods, was something that the two of us did together. You didn't manage that all by yourself. Well, I never said I did it all on my own. But... You're the only one who gets the credit for what we achieved. Don't you worry. Someday I'm sure the company will acknowledge your contribution and will reward you. Yeah, yeah. Can they know if you don't tell them about it? Certain things must wait for the right time. You sure know how to seize the moment. You seize the moment to find a new job and seize the moment to return decisively. Then you seize the moment to take advantage of the situation. Every step has been perfectly timed. Are you threatening me? If you feel threatened, then so be it. Of course, if you and I are able to cooperate in the future, then don't call it a threat. It's just a chat. You may not say you're threatening me, but you are in a subtle way. And I need to remind you of something. Dinkai leaving doesn't mean you'll have it easier now. He and I are different. Yeah, you two are different. But you're also the same. Chinese. So what's your point? Dinkai's not a competitor now. But it doesn't mean you're a shoe in If you look at it in a different way, it looks bad for anyone Chinese. I remember our first day on the job, we recited the rules. The rules state that we're all the same, royal staff. 
<laughs> you know there's something very unique about this industry that we work in. It's small. Truth is, the international maritime community is a very small circle. You think you can make it in this industry just because you have Mr. Tong helping you along? Also, Chun Fei is your old classmate. You played him like this. So don't you think he will get back at you sooner or later? In the 19th century, British Prime Minister Palmerston made a famous remark. It was quoted by Winston Churchill after World War II. A country has no permanent friends. Um, it only has permanent interests. That's right. Friends don't last. Only one's interests do. Looks like you're already focused on your own interests. And looks like you're already focused on becoming my friend. <laughs> Jinkai hasn't contacted me for days. Am I really not that important to him? Fine. I guess I'll contact him. Hey, Tin Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong? Not feeling well? Mm, no. Oh, well, that's good. Seems something's on your mind. Uh, time to get off work. See you later. Ah? Huh? You're in a hurry? There's something that I want to tell you. Oh, that's very kind of you. Come now, come now. You're very kind. Happy birthday, Miss Young. Uh, Miss Young, hey? <laughs> You're all very sweet. This is my present for you. Look. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. Oh. oh, it's okay. You're new here, right? Who'd expect you to know? Happy birthday. Oh my, Happy thank birthday. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh my, our big family is so kind. <laughs> Every year I keep telling you don't need to give me gifts. Don't take my birthday so seriously, huh? I'll remember your birthday next year, Miss Young. <sighs> you make it sound like I'm asking for more presents. Happy oh. birthday to you, Director thank Young. Thank you. Presents don't matter, huh? What matters is you're all here. All right, time to leave. Let's go party together. Wow. Wow. You should come too. <laughs> I have plans tonight, so I can't make it. All right, all right. That's okay. It's voluntary, huh? I'm so sorry. I have an urgent matter tonight. Uh, it's fine. No need to explain. It's fine, it's fine. Go ahead. Bye. Hello, Mr. Dean. Hello. Oh, uh, Mr. Dean, I'm your student. You can call me Dodo. Do you have any questions about the class? Uh, I do. So, uh, Mr. Dean, may I add you on WeChat? Actually, next time. My phone is out of battery. Oh. Hey, hey, Mr. Dean. Listen, maybe you could give me a ride back home now? I can't get a cab around here. Where do you live? Near People's Hospital. That's the opposite direction from my house. Oh, that's all right. Mr. Dean, head towards your home and then I'll get off the bus stop and drop me off there. Mr. Ding. Hey, Dean Pan. What are you two doing out here? The student said she couldn't get a cab and asked me for a ride. Tell me, miss, what class are you in, and what's your name? I... Forget it. Mr. Ding and I have something to talk about. Let me call you a cab to take you home. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't bother yourself, Dean. I'll, I'll take a bus. Bye. Be careful. Mr. Ding, this is a school. Respect the student-teacher relationship. Be careful how you interact with students, especially females. I think you misunderstand. Did I? I don't want to hear any gossip because once it's out, it can't be stopped. And then it'll be too late. I understand. Mr. Ding, 
there is something that I must make clear to you today. I accepted you as a guest lecturer because of your good performance in class. But I'm still not comfortable with the mistake you made on Dreamland of the Ocean before. For whatever reason, you disgrace the title of Chief Officer. So I hope you won't do anything in the future that tarnishes your title here. Remember it. At this school, you're a teacher and a role model. You're exactly right. I'm a role model here. I'll keep that in mind. Mr. Tong? Hey, please sit. Hey, why didn't you ask me why I asked you here? Thank you. Well, you didn't invite me to your home, so Annie doesn't hear this. So I can deduce that this matter is important and inconvenient for Annie to know. You're very clever indeed. I asked you here because I hope that you will help persuade Annie to leave this industry as soon as possible. I certainly don't mind her having a career, but I also hope you two have a happy ever after. But you know Annie's personality well. She has a lot of ideas, especially when it comes to her career. It won't be very easy to change her mind. In fact, I hate asking you to do this, but if you two want to be together, Annie will need to make some sacrifices or else. I don't want to lie to you because you two are dating. There are people who are judging you behind your back and say you're using her to get ahead. You know best how I got to where I am. <laughs> I don't care what other people think. But I care a lot. I care because an anonymous letter has been sent to our headquarters in Miami and I don't want your relationship to affect the department of the Asian market. The Asian talent reserve plan will also be questioned. I thought that I could ignore the stereotype that people seem to have about this. I was wrong. Though I try hard to ignore it, gossip just never goes away. People will still think it and will still gossip about all of us. I know that. What would you like me to do? Tomorrow's the exam for staff captain. The Miami head office has also arranged a vote as to whether to continue with the Asian talent program the very same day. I'm sorry. I asked you out to this place. You asked, so of course I came. Tomorrow, you're on the ship? No, I'm not. So then, let's drink. Hello. I need another one of these. I'd like to thank you for finding me this job. Thank you. How's it? Getting used to being unsure? I'll have to get used to it, right? You know, the first day I worked on a ship, I thought I was going to do this job. For the rest of my days on this earth. But not even a decade later, I'm working on shore. Are you not happy with your job? No. You know, I actually really like the atmosphere at the school right now. But sometimes... I really do miss my life on the ship. Tomorrow's the exam. For staff captain. Hmm. 
You're back? I am. Sit down and eat something. You should eat as well. It's still hot. Dig in. Tomorrow's the exam for staff captain. You know, the first day I worked on a ship, I thought I was going to do this job for the rest of my days on this earth. But not even a decade later, I'm working on shore. now working on a big project called Charity Tourism. It's pretty exciting. My boss asked me to attend a training, but I told him no. Why did you tell him no? It's in France for six months, and I think that's too long. Sounds great to me. But don't you think that's a bit long? Uh, I just think that's a really long time to be apart. Don't you care? Whatever I do doesn't matter to you? I never said it doesn't matter. But you give me the feeling Look, that whatever- Look, do you want to go to France or not? Tell me. I want to, but for your sake, I don't think I should. But do you have to stay here for me? Work should be the most important thing to you right now. Does that mean that I should totally ignore your feelings and just do whatever I want to? I should just act like you, right? I'm telling you all about my day, but you basically ignore me. I bailed on my coworkers to come home and cook and clean for you. I did that for you. But you don't really care, do you? Are you unhappy with me about something now? I think that it's the other way around. Well, I'll be honest with you. I'm also unhappy with myself right now. I don't think there's anything wrong with you going to France. Let's try to calm down and think about whether we should be together or not. Do you mean... that we should break up? I think the two of us should focus on our jobs right now. And take a little break. Tomorrow's the exam for Staff Captain. You shouldn't have made such a stupid mistake. Your seaman certificate is no longer available. I never thought this small thing would be the reason that you left us. Dinkai, you disappointed me. You haven't disappointed me. You have 
just disappointed yourself. Mr. Bai, I don't understand. We have many experienced and loyal employees. Why should we give such a valuable opportunity to a new employee who hasn't even finished probation? Miss Young, please tell me, what is the ultimate goal of this training? It's to help the company increase its profit. And how do we increase profits? People. Talented people. To be more specific, this training is to help us explore people with potential, rather than retrain experienced veterans. But how? How do you know she has potential? I've always been a good judge of character. I'm very clear what she's capable of. However, if we don't develop our more senior employees, it may affect employee morale. I don't want to discuss this further. All right. I understand. Congrats, you two. You've both passed the China Maritime Safety Administration grade review. Your diplomas, um, also meet the standard. You both have been first officers for more than three years and have made more than 100 arrivals and departures. There are also senior company executives who recommend that you participate in this exam. To show that we're being fair here, according to royal traditions, we always hire a third party to proctor the uh, final exam for us. Your scores will be immediately sealed up and sent to our Miami headquarters. The scores will then be combined with the rating of your everyday work performance. Do you understand? Then let's begin. Good luck to you. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Our database of questions was provided by Sweden's most professional and trustworthy psychological testing institute. We will examine your psychological quality and resilience from all aspects. We value the comprehensive assessment and the overall psychological result. So therefore, these tests will last about seven to eight hours. Once finished, the report will be sent to the headquarters of your company. Okay. So if you're ready, now let's start with the first test. Now comes the second test, the emergency reaction test. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. They're a little tired now. Now comes the third test. Please pay attention. The risk assessment test. There's something I need to remind you. Dinkai's not a competitor now, but it doesn't mean you're a shoe in If you look at it in a different way, it looks bad for anyone Chinese. Truth is, the international maritime community is a very small circle. You think you can make it in this industry just because you have Mr. Tong helping you along? I know. We must sacrifice the knights in order to save the king, right? Not the king, but the game itself. Later on, we'll still have the chance to win. Winning sometimes means losing.
Come in. Hey, Zayang. The past is in the past. Let's look to the future. There are opportunities next year. I just got off the phone with headquarters, and they're still very supportive of the Asian talent plan. So we're going to keep working hard. Thank you, Zayang. You took one for the team. I hope it's worth the sacrifice. Rest assured, I will remember what you've done. Later, you will be rewarded. Living in this world is not as easy as it seems. Helplessly agreeing with the superior is not what I want either. As a first officer, you should know that in the event of a dangerous storm, we may choose to suddenly change course in order to save the ship. And of course, it will cause a small delay, but we'll reach our final port safe and sound, right? A year will pass by very quickly. As long as this program is unscathed, then you'll reach your destination. Thanks for biting the bullet. Come in. You're here too. I already heard about the test. Don't take it to heart. Don't worry, it's just a load of test. It can't take into account my full ability. <laughs> and that's the Ziyang I know. And what matters more for me is that those I care for value me more than any test. I'm very glad that we can cooperate this way together. What's this? Feeling superior is enough? I still need to rub it in my face that I lost you, right? No, a real warrior only finds joy and pleasure while fighting on the battlefield. Not in showing off afterwards. We are both brave warriors who survived this battle. And I'm also very proud to have an opponent like you. That's really what you got into my card to tell me today, huh? Don't take this the wrong way. I'm here to say that we're not only co-workers after this, we're good friends. Really? At least I think we're friends. <laughs> As a Chinese saying goes, kindness is always returned tenfold. Yes. Let's say we're friends. This is a symbol of the start of our friendship. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Nothing's wrong. Wow. I just saw Alan get out of your car. What's up? Nothing. We just chatted a bit. Oh, and also, he gave me this watch. He bought you a watch? I bought it. It's a limited edition that I've been trying to get. Fortunately, he knew some friends, collect the watches, so I asked him to help me get it and pay him back. Is that so? What's the matter? You're acting weird. You're the one who's acting weird. You're too young to be this paranoid. Are you hiding things from me?
相遇在一座山，相遇在某个人潮汹涌、孤单的路口，像是雨一片天，像是在蔚蓝海洋中，生活的另一面，梦想的事发现，不经意的转弯，终点要回。是一个同心的圆，从彼岸到此间，最美的少年。每一次停靠，都是为了下一个起点；每一次启程，拥抱着辽阔。每一次看完，看了万家灯火，人间团圆；每一次起航，最初永不消失的地平线，移动的海岸线，从天边到眼前，生命的延长线不再那么遥远。善良。夏天，善良了每一天。I love you forever， 一转一世间。